Hi friends, I'm Adav Top from Easy Approach and it's the 26th video of Flutter video series. In this video, we'll implement the future that we have covered in the last video and we'll also uh, learn the future builder and how can we use the future builder along with future. Now let's take a look at the UI first. Here I have my home page widget which is the home widget for the application and in the build I have just returned a scaffold widget and I have a floating action button inside the scaffold and in the body I just have a container and inside the container I just have a center text and we have just applied a 32 pixels uh, padding in this container as well. Now suppose if I want to download some data that would actually take 5 seconds to be completed then definitely we need to make a future for it so that it can run asynchronously and not block the UI and also we need to show some progress indicators so that we can uh, make a better user experience and the user can know that his requested data is actually being is actually downloading for this we don't just need to make future and download thing we also need to get somehow the current status of the future either it is currently downloading the data or it has downloaded and based on the current status or the current state of the future we can build the ui so if it is downloading the data we can build or we can show the circular progress indicator on the screen so that so that the user can know that his requested data is actually downloading and if the downloading has, com has completed we can uh, we can show uh, the data based on the current uh, state so basically for this purpose we have a future builder but before making future builder we need to make the future first so now I'm making a future of a string actually the future that will return the string value so go here at the top and just make a future and you can make the future by writing future and here you have to pass the type of the data that your future will be returning so you have to I'm, I'm just giving here a string because I'll be returning the string value and just give the name of the future. I'm giving the name download uh, data. It's not the actual downloading function. Uh, I'm just simulating the downloading function. I'll just add uh, some wait or delay in this function like uh, five or five seconds. And then uh, after all, ultimately we'll just return uh, the string value. So this is uh, just the simulation of the downloading function. And now we can use, uh, we can use return. And here we have future dot delay. It actually returns the value that you want but it also adds the delay and I want to add the delay of 5 seconds so you can give here duration and you can choose seconds and just give here 5 and after using comma you can give the anonymous function and here you just need to return whatever you want to return actually the string value because your future is uh, of return uh, futures return tribe is actually string so I just uh, wants to return uh, your data is downloaded so you have to use oh sorry you have to use here semicolon as well and so we have done with the future so now we need to make the future builder and we need to continuously uh, get the state of the future the current state of the future and based on the current state we need to build the ui if the current state of the ui is actually waiting it is in the case it is actually when it is actually downloading so the state of the future will be waiting and when the downloading will be completed the state of the future will be done so we basically uh, have two states we have more but in this video we'll covering basically two states the first one will be waiting it's in the case when the data is downloading and the second one is the done which is actually in the case when the data uh, will be downloaded uh, or has been downloaded actually now we need to build the UI based on the current state of the future. So basically we need to use future builder for that purpose. So I am just using future builder inside this center container. You can use anywhere you want on the screen and just write here future builder and you have to give the type of your future as well as your future is returning a string value. So I pass here a string and now inside this there are two things that you must need to define. The first one is the future. And here you have to give the reference of the future so the name of the future is download photo or download uh, actually the data and now you have to uh, give this builder so firstly you have to pass here context and the second thing is the data snapshot this context is the context that we have in every builder and this data is snapshot or you can give any name is the reference of the data uh, that will be uh, re that will be returned by this future so we uh, will be getting this string uh, data which is your data is downloaded by calling or by using this data snapshot 
so what we can do we firstly need to check the current state of the builder or current state of the future so that we can build the ui accordingly as i said there are basically two states that we are actually covering in this video tutorial the first state would be the awaiting state it's it it would be in the case when uh, the requested data is downloading uh, is being downloaded by the uh, future and the second state would be the done estate and it would be the case when the data has been successfully downloaded so first we need to check the current estate and based on the current estate we need to return the widget so we can check the current estate by using if data snapshot uh, dot uh, connection state and you can compare it with the connection estate uh, dot done and if this condition is true you need to just return the tax widget that would show the returned value from the future and you just you can access the current value or the return value from the future by data snapshot dot data and now in the else it would be the case when the data snapshot will be in the awaiting state you can return the circular progress indicator so just use here return and return the circular circular progress indicator so that the user can know that uh, the requested data is actually being downloaded so now if i refresh it or rerun it um you can see the circular progress indicator and it should show the data after five seconds so you can see here uh, the data is now downloaded now if i refresh it again and click on this button you can see the button is tapping uh, successfully or it's working actually so you can uh, verify it by your by your own that the future is actually running asynchronously and you can interact with the other part of the ui while your future is running so this is it from the from this video uh, we have learned about future and how can we use this future you can also play this with, uh, with this future and having different and play with the different uh, connection state and you can uh, check by your own so in, uh, so in the next video we'll learn some new topic and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel and share the videos with those who want to learn flutter with easy approach so thank you for watching